Good morning, good afternoon and good evening from wherever you may be in the world and welcome to the paddock walk here at Ring Knudstorp, the first paddock walk of not the weekend because we're racing on the Friday and qualifying on the Thursday. We've just had two free practice sessions and a qualifying session. We came from a track that was pretty much kind of flat, Yellow Rossen. This is the complete opposite. Ring Knudstorp is called the, well, the green hell of Sweden and it definitely does earn its name. It's a difficult, complex track, um, difficult corners, a lot of up and down. You know this as a driver. Tell us a bit about the track and how difficult it actually is. Hi Dan and hi everyone watching at home. Uh, it is definitely the green hell of, of uh, Sweden. Uh, we have a lot of crests, we have uh, you know, deep diving into yeah, crazy corners. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we really enjoy this track actually and we've done, I would say, 60% of the testing of our development car here at Knutstorp. So it's a car we know, f it's a track we know fits the car very well. Uh, but it was an interesting qualifying session. Yes. We had two practice sessions uh, today, uh, one in dry, the first one, and one in wet, the second one. And then qualifying was wet. Yes, it was very wet. Practice two was wet. Uh, it was considerably a lot worse than qualifying was but well we had a shocking qualifying we have a new driver here this weekend as well uh, Lukas Stiefragen um, well came into the per practice session uh, I think put it somewhere middle of the grid not bad for your first practice session ever basically 20 minutes uh, then we had a 10 minutes a shortened free practice to put it in p3 from that moment on we knew that he had something special and in qualifying he put it all together five tenths ahead of the whole field and a maiden pole position for him. What a day for him this must be. Coming into the next gen cup, uh, not knowing really what to expect, does have a lot of experience in cars though. Uh, a good background, is. we know he's quick, but I think no one expected to t for him to take pole by half a second. I mean, to tackle the, the t most difficult track we have in Scandinavia, basically, yeah. in the wet, in the most tricky conditions with limited testing and driving, I mean, putting it on pole with that margin, that's, that's, that's a lot of respect. Uh, but the qualifying session was not, a, was not an easy one. No. We had four red flags yeah. for cars off the track uh, into the gravel trap. And Most at turn one. Exactly, and basically when the cars were out for the last time after these four red flags, yeah. no one had put a lap in, no. basically. So they only had, I think, two or three laps to do, to do it. Yeah. And uh, he did the first one the quickest. He didn't improve on the second or the third. But, I mean, P1, that's that's pretty amazing. It's well done. It is. Well done. I know that, and I just heard that from you, Frederick, that they, in the race control booth, they were they didn't want to restart the last yeah, time. Because we ran out of track time, basically. Yeah. But our lovely, well, our lovely race director, Patrick, he managed to convince them, as he always does, uh, and we got one last restart, and that's when it, ha well, when it happened. Else, we wouldn't have had a representative lap time. Exactly. I think the quickest at that point was five minutes something, yeah. um, <laughs> yes. which it's not representative at no. all. So but we're, we're happy about that. We've got something interesting once again behind us going on. Let's go there. Let's, um, let's look. Our e-safety guy, Danny Meyer, I think is in here. You can see him, very orange, as always. Yeah. Um, and he's briefing the people again let's, about e-safety he's talking but let's quickly disturb them i like that i like this who do you want i like disturb? disturbing people danny quickly what are you doing with all these people we just talk about how we can take people out of the car in an emergency situation and uh, they just try how to cover the car with rubber mats if the car has a problem that we can't solve but the driver needs to go out so an electrical problem yes of course yeah, oh, yeah. So we talk about this a lot in the paddock walk, about you and your nice orange suit doing the keeping us safe. Uh, I mean, you've done this now every race weekend with all marshals. How are they handling this? What are they saying? I mean, they are happy that we take them, that we give them a car where they can practice. And uh, they have a lot of questions. We can answer these questions and they, they are happy that they know uh, what all this electric racing is about and that it's at the end as safe as uh, racing with any other race car. Well done, Danny. Thank no. you for that. No, uh, we actually have, I can see, uh, Magnus here, the guy yeah. that is running uh, the Green Hell of Sweden. Yes. Should we <laughs> ask him some burning questions? I mean, well, let's go for it. Magnus, how do you Magnus, how do you for us? He doesn't know we're going to attack him. No, he doesn't uh, yet. But we like attacking <laughs> people. Um, Magnus, yes. you are 
the manager of Ring Knutstorp. Yes. We call correct. this track the Green Hell of Sweden. Yes, that's uh, correct for many people, yes. <laughs> so it's the first time, obviously, we've been here testing. Yeah. You've helped us a lot, getting yeah. some track time in our development. And now we're here racing. Yeah. How we're so happy. We're really happy to see you. Unfortunately, we couldn't uh, get better weather today, but... Uh, uh, we work on that tomorrow and we're really happy to see all these uh, nice minis, electric minis here uh, at, the, at the racetrack. It's, it's um, racing EVO 2. Exactly. And being electric, I mean, you are focusing hard on your racetrack for the envir yeah. environment. Yeah, yeah. You're pushing. Yeah, um, and is it important, you think, to come with electric race cars? I'd say it's important for uh, racing and it's important for <coughs> the car manufacturers to... Um, Evolve cars, use race tracks where you use the cars in uh, maximum pressure, and it's a perfect environment to, to make electric cars uh, sexy and, and better. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're sexy, Dan. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, that was lovely. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so, what are you expecting for the races tomorrow? Dry race, it's going to be fast and it's going to be tight. Uh, I looked at, at some of the drivers today, they're driving uh, wide and tough. Uh, it's going to be really, really nice. Some of them very wide. <laughs> very wide, <laughs> yes, yes. So I'm very, very much looking yeah. forward tomorrow. Thank you for that. Thank we you. are looking forward too. Nice Good. to be here. Nice to be Thank here. Thank you for the help. Nice to have you here. So, um, should we talk to some drivers? Yeah, I mean, first of all, uh, if we can, somewhere in this paddock walk, I want to talk to Lucas, yeah. our pole sitter. Of course, first time here. Um, Do we see him somewhere? I can't see him at his car yet, but I can see one driver. I just saw him walking past. I don't know if he walked his car. Yes, he is. Uh, Elias Adestam. He finished P2 in qualifying. A really, really good qualifying for him, usually, uh, if Elias puts in a lap time. And we've seen that before. Yep. He's really good at qualifying. I talked to him before qualifying. And if he would have taken pole position, he no one would be able to equal him anymore in qualifying results. Uh, Elias... A tricky qualifying, stopping, starting, stopping, starting. How was it as a driver to stay in that concentrated mindset? Uh, it was a frustrating session, like uh, getting in, getting out, getting in and get out. But I was thinking, oh, it's not going to be a qualifying. But we had one in the end, so I'm very happy for that. Uh, good job keeping and keeping it clean in the end, so that was uh, very nice. But uh, yeah, it was very stressful, of course. Uh, but uh, I managed to put in a decent lap considering the new tires were struggling to get the temps in. It would have been ideal for us with the new tire, really new tires on the front to uh, to scrub those in and have the entire session, but we didn't, unfortunately, so yeah. You found the lap time in the end. Um, how difficult was it out there? How difficult were the, were the conditions at a track that in the dry isn't easy either? I think the rain was honestly easier than the dry because it's easier to string the corners together because it's not that fa as fast, but uh, yeah, it wasn't easy, of course, but uh, they, that's why I call it the green hell of the north, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's Frederick, it's a real roller coaster. Um, for you, how did the car feel? Did you change anything after FP2 when you had the rain? Yeah, we did some changes and uh, I felt like the car was still very, very understeer with the new tires. I couldn't get the temp in. It was, I was really struggling to get the rotation. And also, in one particular corner, I lost six tenths. Uh, so that would have been like pole contention type margin so very unfortunate but yeah we'll look forward to tomorrow will you change something for tomorrow on the setup uh no not really we'll go back and just uh, do the dry thing that will work this morning so yeah mm -hmm. it will work hopefully tomorrow as well so you're in a you're in a good position now you have the two people in front of you in the championship behind you yeah. for the first race you're in a good position obviously taking points yeah of course i'm just gonna try to score as many points as possible i need to do something drastic but not too drastic as I've done before and just finish on the top step or at least on the podium and every race from here here so yeah looking forward to having a clean and nice race tomorrow and I know that Elias is one of the drivers that has been here and raced before he's actually won races here he doesn't talk a lot about it <laughs> but uh, clearly you're a, you're a favorite for the win yeah I hope so I uh, will see but uh, yeah uh, it's uh, gonna be tricky, of course. It's never this uh, circuit is really hard to overtake on, so getting a good start is crucial. And uh, we'll see the push to pass can prob it's probably gonna be the only opportunity to create some exciting racing here, unfortunately. Good luck for tomorrow. Well done. Yeah. Uh, I can see a guy here, he's smiling a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yes. uh, it's Theo Janberg's father, Melker. Um, four red flags. Yeah. How was it for you as a father? <laughs> 
you, you might believe it's tough for the drivers to go back to the paddock all the time, but you should know how it is to be a father, so <laughs> be on the grandstand on the side four times. So it was tough. It was tough. Yeah. So Theo is doing an amazing job, obviously, fighting now for the top top positions. Uh, how does that feel as a father? We know he has very limited experience coming into this. I mean, uh, of course, you're a little bit biased when you're a father, but I must say I'm super impressed also with what you said, the limited experience, but uh, also take it from the right angle, b build up, build up the, the experience and the confidence more and more. And then in this condition today, take the P3 in qualification. Uh, even, even me is a little bit impressed by that. Is this what you expected him to do? Is it above expectations or...? No, I was uh, waiting for first or second, no. He <laughs> <laughs> no. was waiting for the victory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, and also the, the, the podium at Yeller. Also. I think it's, uh, it's super, super good and I, I don't think it was so much of... Uh, he said uh, in the beginning of the season, I have no uh, goals, etc. I will try to do my best, but I think this is, this is on the upper part of the ex yeah. expectation of things. So you are outside of your sun racing, you're involved in motorsport in, in several ways, in rallycross for example, and how do you feel about this, this championship? Why did you join Next Gen Cup? I think first of all, uh, we, you, <laughs> need to do something with, uh, with the racing for the future and uh, the whole world need to do a lot of things uh, for the future and, and for our coming generations. And I think uh, just to show we can do it in the motorsport is, is important because that then also a lot of other things will follow. So mm -hmm. in my day-to-day -day job we are working hard also with the electrification of, of the rescue machines, for example, and uh, so that... The, the gearing, the, the, the leverage you get out of what you are doing here is fantastic. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then, of course, uh, I think everyone that uh, did not believe that uh, it was going to be great racing with this, I think they have uh, changed their minds. So, so, of course, but it's, it's, a, it's a higher purpose with, with what you are doing here, and I'm super impressed by the way you do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, and also thank you for pushing for the environment in your day-to-day -day job. Thank you. And uh, good job supporting your son as well. Still chasing that victory though, Melke? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I can see him here. Yeah. Do you want to attack? Yes. You can uh, atta I mean, attack him. Attack he, him. He knows at this point that we're coming uh, yeah. to you. Yeah. Um, a good qualifying for you in the end. Oh, mm. there we go. A bit of water. Um, well, in the end, a P3 for you. Um, yeah. Best qualifying so far. You must be happy. Yeah. Feels, uh, feels good, a bit frustrating after three or four red flags, but then when we had, uh, I think, two full push laps, then uh, yeah, that felt good. At what point did you think, okay, now I'm gonna go for it? When you went out first, did you take it cautiously or were you like... Mm, maybe a bit cautious the first time, but then the second, third, fourth time, I kind of pushed immediately, but then it only, because it was the out lap, then half push lap, and then a red flag four times. How difficult is it having a red flag, knowing you have to do a lap, you're running out of time? How difficult is it to know how much to push? It was hard to know how much time was left, if, if you were going to move back the time or not. So then you kind of not taking any risks and like waiting, so you need to push immediately. So you were semi, semi safe then in your lap still? or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. you don't want to go off either. So Exactly. And uh, I mean, you've started in the front before and you showed us at Yellerosen last time that you now you have the pace to properly be up there. Do you prefer the wet conditions like no. you had now or, no. the, or the dry? Yeah, dry. Definitely dry. Okay. Yeah. And the track, you've not been here before? Uh, yeah, a little bit, a few laps, but not, uh, not any. How do you like the course. green hell of Sweden? Uh, I think it's really, <laughs> really fun. Does it earn its name? <laughs> yeah, I think so. And I think the cars, uh, the track suit, uh, or the car suits the track very yeah. well. Well done. We Thanks. are looking forward to the race tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, the weather is a little bit unclear, I think, okay, what yeah. we will have, but... Hopefully. What are you hoping for? Weather dry? Dry. Dry, dry, dry. dry. Yeah. Simple. Oh. Yeah. Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, your father is pushing for you to win. Mm, good. In case good. he hasn't said that to you. We know he wants you to win. Good. But he's supporting you in a good way, I think, so... Yeah. Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. And um, Theo is driving the STFG car. Yeah. Uh, it's a school for car mechanics. Very close to here. I worked Heard. there for, uh, I think, 12, 13, 14 years. Oh. Uh, I worked there, yeah. <laughs> a long time. H happy to put that in the front of the field. Yeah. We need to find Lukas ah, Stiefelhagen. Yeah. I can see him. You can see him. He's on his phone, I sharing to all his family what he's just done, uh, taking that pole position. Watch Great out boy. for the here sharp flowers. Let's Taking the cameraman sure. through. Yeah, make sure Frank gets through safely. 
I'll attack him, fellow Dutchman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lucas, you've managed to put the field in a bit of a Dutch sandwich, one at the bottom, one at the top. Uh, pole position for you in your first ever Next Gen Cup qualifying. Were you expecting this coming into today? No, no, not not really, not at all, actually. Yeah, uh, it was really tricky out there. Of course, it was wet, so um, yeah, I never, never ever, yeah, driven in the wet with this car so yeah and there were a lot of uh, red flags like four or something so you couldn't really set a lap um uh, we had two laps at the end so yeah we need to manage that to drive as quickly as possible in that two laps and uh, yeah i think that uh, that works uh, that sorry that <laughs> that uh, worked, worked out good. Yeah, yeah sorry um so yeah, and just not pushing too hard, uh, keep the car on the track, and yeah. In the end, I think his first lap was his fastest yeah. lap. I was um, just going to say that. We talked to, to Theo, and he said that his, he started off a little bit cautious, and then he improved the speed, increased the speed. But you, your first proper lap was your quickest. Yeah. So uh, did you try to push more, or, or um, what yeah, was the plan? I tried, but I think I locked up in turn seven a little bit, so yeah. The, the lap uh, was already gone then, so yeah. Did you expect to come here and put the Schunk car on pole position? <laughs> no, I expected somewhere around ten. Now, if I well, were we able to uh, to put it inside the top ten, it will be really nice. But now I'm on pole, so yeah. Do you have a plan for the race? <laughs> Winning the race. <laughs> That's a good plan. Simple, <laughs> yeah. but effective. <laughs> yeah, it's a good plan. <laughs> so, what's your experience here in the Next Gen Cup so far? Yeah, it's really amazing. The car feels uh, great. Um, it uh, reacts very well. Um, I'm not. Uh, I have no experience without ABS. So yeah, it's a, a whole new world for me. And uh, yeah, yeah, the car just feels really good. That's nice to hear. We are very happy to have you here. Uh, two Dutch drivers. I mean, you're Dutch. Three Dutch yes. people. You're trying to take over this whole next gen. Is cup this too much? Or? I think it's a good level now, I think <laughs> it's a good level. No, but well done. Uh, we are very much looking forward to the race. Uh, obviously representing Schunk, our yes. partner, in a very, very nice way. Um, good luck for the race. Thank you. So uh, Schunk, they're actually producing tools uh, used to build these cars yep. in the factories. So they are an important player uh, in the electrification, the e-mobility sector. So we're happy to have them on board and happy that Lucas can show them what yeah. Schunk is possible of being the yeah. top one. I mean, there were earlier in the season, uh, first two races, I yeah. think, yeah. Uh, with, with Ellis at Falkenberg. Now back on top again with Lucas. Yeah, uh, yeah they must be really, really yeah. happy. I spoke to the Schunk guys earlier on. They were happy to see that car back yeah. in first position. We had four red flags, obviously, yes. m mainly because of cars, as you can see, going off track. Yeah, not ending ideal. Ending up in the, in the gravel trap. <laughs> we have Wilmer here. Giving the mechanics our, a tough job. Yeah, our Wilmer has some job to do. And on Katie's car, I can see Katie here. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, you, uh, you're improving. <laughs> you're improving quite a lot. You have your yeah. sister here as well, yeah. from the UK. Um, you're improving. You're getting there. <laughs> You went off the track, it's bits <laughs> falling from it here. Yeah. Uh, how was qualifying for you? Um, it was difficult. Turn one, really brutal. No grip whatsoever. Mixed with the no grip on the new tyres, even more difficult. So, just bad luck. Uh, ended up in the gravel drop again. So, and um, for the race, uh, are you hoping for a weather change for tomorrow? Well, after speaking to Matthew, he thinks maybe we get one dry race tomorrow. So looking forward to that, but also looking forward to a wet race. I think it'd be interesting. I think if we get four red flags in qualifying, <laughs> I've no idea what tomorrow is going to bring. So um, yeah, it's, it was fun. It yeah. was fun. And your experience so far in the championship, it's the fifth round now. How are you feeling? Really good, actually. I think even though qualifying didn't go to plan, I think it's been my favorite race weekend so far. It's just been really fun. Um, I practiced two yesterday. I think I ended up in the gravel, but managed to drive it out. I also went on the grass in practice one. Um, so we've had a bit of a detour around the track. I think we've been off the track more than we've been on the track <laughs> this weekend. But it's been really fun. It's been really fun. I mean, it's all about having fun, isn't it? And Matthew, your engineer, he's still guiding you in a good way? Yeah, 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 he is. Um, so it was just working on my braking points. Um, I think this track actually suits my braking style more. 
um, we get to trail break a lot. I think I'm really good at trail breaking. So um, yeah, it definitely suits my driving style a lot more, this track. Um, it's just a shame we've had uh, two wet sessions today. It's just not brought me any luck. <laughs> well, good luck tomorrow. Thank We're you. happy that you are happy Thank and improving. You. Thank you. Laughing still. Yeah, which but is it's good. good. It's it's all about having fun, isn't yeah. it? As well, it's it's yeah. you know you need to be dead serious. We want to win races. Yeah, it's I performance, mean. but it's all also about enjoying what you're doing, uh, yeah. having fun, and enjoying things. Yes, Dan. Oh. I yes. can see he's closing. He's closing up now. Yeah, I enjoy a bit of coffee though. We when we when we planned the next gen cup and this paddock, we said um, we need to have coffee, proper yeah. coffee, and Martin from uh, Fogaroli. Come out here, Martin. Hi. Obviously gives us uh, good coffee. Martin, you yes. have been involved in this since we started planning this. Yes. How are you experiencing the, the plaza, the people, the racing? Great, great. Uh, the weather, <laughs> no problem. It's great. Yeah, yeah, we gave you a tent. So. Yeah, you gave me a tent. That's great. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate. Yeah, no, we, we said from the day one. Uh, appreciate it also. We said yeah. from day one we need good coffee. You're obviously here with your your Italian uh, coffee wagon from Fogaroli, yes. Uh, yes. supplying us with excellent coffee. And um, what are the people people you're selling to, giving it to? How are they reacting here? Fantastic coffee <laughs> <laughs> and That's a fa good. fantastic setup on uh, all the whole event. Yeah, really. So big plus. Yeah. We enjoy having you here. We enjoy, enjoy good coffee. Being here. Don't Thank leave. I, Don't I enjoy away. my coffee in the morning. So. Great. <laughs> See you in the morning. <laughs> okay. Free one tomorrow? No. See you in the morning. Free one tomorrow morning? Free one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the way. There you go. <laughs> you beg for one and then you get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do we have anyone more we need to talk to? I mean, let's talk championship for oh, a second. Oh, we need to. Uh, we need to. As we know, Frederick, you and I both know we're into the second to last round of the championship now and we do want to avoid it but we can't it can be decided this weekend none of them have taken points Elias is too far back to be considered that he can still take it this round he can get closer have for you, next have round. you calculated the points I have calculated the points um, but well he's still in he's by a long mile, but it's difficult for him to catch up. He needs to have two really, really good weekends, can't afford any mistakes. He dropped down, and I'm talking about Elias Adestami, he dropped down, he had a really good second race, uh, again on the podium, but sadly got a penalty in that second race, I think for contact with Alexander Christensen, that gave him a 10 second penalty with how close it was at Yellow Rossum, you've all seen it. Um, that dropped him down, I think, into P16, didn't give him any points, lost a lot of points in the championship battle, but, um, well. It's a long way to go, we have four yes. races to go. We have another qualifying session that also gives the drivers a points yeah. uh, for the championship. So I would say in the top three, top four, top five, I mean, a lot can happen. Yeah. Um, obviously, the guys a little bit further back, Linus Gronfors, starting P... P4. It depends what you call a little bit okay, further so back. Not so far back. Yeah, and, no. and Ellis, we, we heard, um, had um, a lap deleted from qualifying yeah, today. so tough. So he was P4. Uh, he was P4, ahead of Linus, exactly what he wanted. Um, and now yeah. in P7. Yeah, it was Luis who went off, last lap. Uh, I don't exactly know what's happened, um, but th it was something with a yellow flag, got his lap time deleted. Um, and we don't know, there was something also about a three-place grid drop. We don't know if that's going to take an effect, uh, we'll have to see for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's going to have huge, huge uh, stuff with the championship, especially if he starts down on P10, which is where he will start if he gets that grid drop, yeah. I think. We'll need um, to investigate yes. so we know what's happened and, and how this will affect uh, the race tomorrow, yeah. where they all start. So it's been, a, it's been a productive day, I would say. We've done uh, three sessions, so uh, two practice sessions and one qualifying. It's been dry, it's been wet, it's been green, it's been red. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's been everything. Been, it's been everything. <laughs> it's we been have, yellow. Here we have another car with our mechanics yeah. doing some hard work. It's just the car, Sir uh, Hitfeld. Sure, yeah, Station Siri car. also went off during... Uh, during the, um, the qualifying session, obviously sponsored by Tearshine, yeah. so... They might need some. They might they need cleaning. Some, some cleaning yeah. <laughs> stuff to yeah. make it shiny <laughs> again, which they will. Um, I think that's it for today. Yeah, like you said, a really productive day. A good qualifying day for some, not the best qualifying day for others. But uh, tomorrow we will have the races, I think the first race at 10.00 uh, local time and the second race at 
15, sorry, yeah, 15. Yeah, 15. Yeah, 15. 15 local time. Uh, one of the other cars that had enough in qualifying as well was Graham Hoffmans. He had a steering arm that was bent, but that was everything. Uh, for the rest, all was fine. He's at the bottom of the standings in 18th. A really productive day, a good qualifying day for, uh, for some, not for others. Like I said, well, tomorrow, the races. I'm looking forward to it, Frederick. Yeah. Uh, I hope you are as well. You can catch them live on the Next Gen Cup YouTube channel. Uh, until then, stay safe and we'll see you there. Goodbye. And let's see if we can go in and eat. Yeah. I ah. see Christian. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Christian. He's waiting for us. Let's always look at him with his arms crossed. He's, 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 he's not happy. You know, uh, not happy. making plans, making sure we I don't have any VIP ticket, so I'm not going to get in. Yeah. Okay. We just see. go somewhere else and eat. Then. Yeah. No, we'll sneak in. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Run!